Hi YouTube, it's Soy Sweet 99. Soy, there it is, you see it on the chain. Um, I'm just doing a random video today. I didn't even really plan to record. I know I said that I think in my last video, but I really didn't. I just was sitting here and I was just thinking about like age, age ageism. I just posted um on Facebook like last week about age and ageism and appearance and things like that and um age shaming people um and i noticed that women do it so much and so often you don't see it so much in men but i noticed that our culture is changing to one where people are shaming people of their age so i wanted to do this video to talk about life after 40 because i'm over 40 45 to be exact um and um and i'll be 46 at the end of this year and i have to say that and i didn't come prepared to to discuss different things, but I'm just discussing what comes off of the top of my head. Um, when I turned 40, I still felt, I felt like I was getting older, but I, I, I still felt like young, like body wise. Like I was um, really, 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 really thin. Not saying I'm heavy now, but I was really, really thin, like 120, I'm about 5'5". Five, five. And, um, I just felt like a little girl because I always looked way younger than my actual age. So for me turning 40, even though I may have had the number, which was 40, I, I still looked so young that people thought I was like 21 at that time. And I remember even working um, at a job, which I'm going to tell the truth about this on this video. So to any of my ex coworkers, you know, now my real age and they used to call me the little girl at work oh the little girl the little girl so I lied and I upped my age about six years so when I was 40 I was saying I was 46 the age that I'm about to be now and um one of my I guess I could say uh things that bothered me a lot was looking young because you know when you're a young teenager you don't want to look young like a little kid or anything like that. And then getting ID'd. I even still get ID'd now, especially if I don't have makeup. Like now I have lipstick and stuff like that. But if I go into a store now, I still get asked for ID and I it's annoying. Um, but um, I feel now I was so I was so 40. It was great. Wonderful. I still felt like a kid, but I noticed once I hit about 44 ish. I'm actually now starting to feel like an adult. At 40, I felt like an adult, but now I actually feel like I'm thinking about things more in life now, like um, life insurance. Um, not saying I don't have it, but like I'm thinking like, should I up my policy, um, burial? Um, not, and I don't want you guys to think that when you, should, you turn 45, you start thinking about death. Because to be honest with you, now is when I'm just now starting to feel a little more tired. I did gain a little bit, a couple of little pounds. So I'm starting to feel like more um, like tired, I guess I would say, compared to before but i still have a lot of energy but see in my particular predicament um on one of my other videos i probably mentioned i broke my wrist and there's my surgery scar and i also had spinal fusion on my back so i could be a little bit more wearier than than some people a lot of people say i have a lot of energy but I honestly feel like once I hit about 43, 44-ish, different things started to change where I started feeling more more like an adult. And listen, you for all of you women, men that are young, um, especially like women too, we start to feel like different about ourselves as we age or we feel like we're getting old. Because I notice even on reality TV, I hear women saying all the time, oh, you're old, you're 40, you're an old hag, stuff like that. You are not. Oh, first of all, 40 is young, very young. Um, it's not young, young, like 16, but it, it, it's still very young. And, and you'll find too that when you um, go to the doctor or you're in medicine and things like that, our age, like 40 and even 42, 43, 44, 45, anything up to 50 is still considered fairly young. That's like if I were to die tomorrow, they would say she died young. So you got to think about it like that. But um, the things that I do notice is like, um, for all of you ladies that are watching, um, my menstrual cycle started getting a little lighter, like after 41. I'm still having cycles every month regularly. Um, 
and um i noticed that it did slow you know it got lighter i used to have a really 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 heavy cycle so i noticed that my cycles got lighter um i noticed that my hips broadened out um those are little changes that i've noticed i did get a little extra little slightly little i always had a six pack so i noticed that I, I did get a little pudgy around the stomach slightly and um my face got actually fuller too and a little bit more rounded so those are different things that i notice um being 45 about to be 46 years old and i've noticed changes in terms of like i think more about um when when you in terms of relationships for those of you that are single or with a boyfriend or domestic partner or partnered up or girlfriend or whatever you you start to think more like let if you're in a relationship at that time when you hit 40 and the person that you're with hasn't made any serious commitment you're like look i got to think about my future you start thinking more about your future and what you need sometimes you know i don't know I, a lot of you probably heard the say, saying before life begins at 40 that's literally how i felt and at that time i was in a relationship that i had been in for a couple of years which which re actually recently ended um i had been married young so i got married in my 20s twice and um so i you know so i experienced that but at that that phase too, I was at that point in my life too, where I kind of was like, you know what, I've been married before. So if I don't, if we don't get married, we don't get married. But then it's like at 43, 44, like the seriousness came to me like, hey, I might want to get married like later in life, you know, and have like a, a second or third marriage, whatever, but a later in life marriage. And um, I just started thinking more about, about permanency. You know what I mean? That whoever I'm with is the person that I would like to be with for the rest of my life. You know, like if I die tomorrow. And I think when I had my surgeries and stuff like that too, I started thinking more about things like that. Like um, end of life and um, who I want to be with and um, what partner am I going to have by my side. Um, I've noticed that I've grown a strong sense of family. Um, I'm on Ancestry.com and I made the family tree so big. Um, I did the DNA test. I've linked up with relatives that I didn't know I even had that existed. So I noticed that I have more of a sense of wanting to know my roots, uh, wanting to trace everything back. Like all of my grandparents are currently deceased. And um, I lost my last two grandparents who lived to 97 and 99, just um, almost 99. Basically, they were almost 100, and I lost them four years ago. So, like, when you, after you turn 40, you start thinking to yourself that, wow, you know, I should have really paid attention to, you know, my elders or my grandmother or even your parents, the things they told you when you were younger. So life becomes a little bit more serious for you. Well, I could say a lot more serious for you, even than at, at the age of 30. Because to be honest, when I turned 30, I still felt young, like partying and going out and still doing stuff. And it's like, now I, I sit here every day and I say, gosh, I wish when grandma told me this, I asked her more questions because now I'm like experiencing things in life that I would kind of like to, to know, you know, I would kind of like answers to, and I would want to discuss with her or ask her about relationships or how was it and, and things like that. And, um, as women, which, which sucks for us because we get the short end of the stick in terms of aging because um, our hormones, we go through hormones, we eventually go through menopause and our bodies just react so differently and we, we go through all these different fluctuations, these different changes in our bodies that really, really, really um, sometimes can make us feel like a different person. And, um, you know, I feel like some of us aren't fully prepared for it um if we don't have our aunts or mothers or people that can tell us stories about hey this is what you should expect this is what you should not expect or whatever but um it really makes you kind of actually realize that you know life is very precious if you if you didn't think about that when you were younger and that i feel like once you hit 40 and even before you 
should really start embracing who you are as a person, what you want to do, where you want to be. I feel like now I'm a, a I'm a little, I, I would say when I hit 30, I became a little more vocal, but now I'm kind of like, I don't care what you think, how it comes across, because I used to have a problem at some point with saying no to certain things, but now I'm just like, I don't care. However it comes across to you, take it like that. That's the way that it comes across to you, and however you receive the message, you receive it. I am a very helpful and empathetic person, and I really, um... I could say that I'm like um, the center somewhat of my family and my social circles. And um, I really, um, I'm going to elaborate on this too. I'm going to do a part two to this video and actually probably continue a series about it. But I just felt like venting. So this is kind of a venting session right now. And I just wanted to vent and talk about this really quickly and um i am going to let you guys go and just think about some of the things that i said and i'll come back to you with another video but um for those of you 40 and up leave some comments for me below on how your life has changed since you became 40 or even if you're under under 40 and you just want to comment on the video or if you have any questions for me um about life and just anything in general i would love to hear from you um Again, follow me at soy underscore sweet 99 and on Instagram, my Instagram is soy underscore ICA and um, bye. See ya.